Hey guys, hope you're doing good. I'm doing pretty well myself, and today we're taking a look at Mini GT. Of course, of course, Mini GT. We have some really cool ones, some older models from Mini GT. Both are Nissan R35s, Liberty Walk, really cool. Number 30, the satin gold. Number 49, the satin silver. Uh, really cool models. I think there might be a uh, Toys, a Japan Toys R Us exclusive of the 49, or maybe it's not the 49. Maybe it's the number 77. The other like candy red one I can't remember but there is a there is a more not different it's a different car it's uh there's another version of this it's number 40 it's also satin gold but it has a carbon fiber hood that one's really expensive um very hard to find so I do not have that one but I do have these right here and so that will have to be good enough for today so let's go ahead and take a look at the number 30 again number 30 really nice liberty walk like uh kind of like comic book uh, logo on the front of the box. I really miss that. I wish they still did that, but it does look good. I love this box style because, and one of the things I really like about it is that you can just look at the front of the box and see the numbers. So if you have like your mini GTs all stacked up back here, you can just look and see all of them, see the number. I wish they wouldn't, like, I think they've always had the number on top, but I wish with the new style boxes, they still had the number on the front. Uh, that's just a little nitpicky, I guess, but yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, Nissan licensing right there. There's your UPC. I guess this apparently, now looking at it, this was actually a United States exclusive. So uh, I did not know that. Maybe the number 40, the one with the carbon fiber, was like a Japan exclusive or something. But anyways, we'll get this thing cracked open. I really like the paint on these two models. They look really nice. So there we go. So yeah, it's just, it's exactly what it says. It's a satin gold color, but it's really, I don't know. It's really nice. I like it a lot. So yeah, it's not metallic or anything. It's just like a nice, like matte, I guess satin, of course, but like not metal flag. It's just one smooth color, but looks pretty nice. We've got the Forgiato wheels on the front and the back looking pretty good. Rubber mirrors. Got a little Liberty Walk diamond right there and then a little bit of like a, some sort of like badging right there or some sort of like venting looks nice. You can see the body kit around this front wheel, all the rivet marks going around. Looks quite nice. Like that a lot. And same thing as the rear one starts here, goes back and goes all the way around with the rivet marks. Looks really nice. Just a, just kind of a simple car. I know some of these older, these older R35s had some crazy liveries, but this one's kind of simple. This one's just kind of like a nice elegant gold color. But going around to the front, you've got our we've got our headlights right here, just acrylic. You can see all the details down in there. It looks really nice. Uh, LB Performance R, I think, on the intercooler. Silver intercooler looks good. LB Performance right there. Nice big fat front lip going across. Uh, a couple vents on the hood to uh, let some air go into the engine bay. On the windshield banner, we've got LB Performance and LB Works R. Very nice. And then on the back window, we have more of our typical logos. HKS, LB Works, Airx, Liberty Walk, Toyo, all that kind of stuff. On the back end, we've got some blue tipped exhaust, which I think looks really good. Uh, Liberty Walk on the license plate, GTR badging right there. And then our acrylic inserted taillights look nice. Ducktail is the word of the day for this one. Nice ducktail on the back. I really like these ducktail models. I think they're, I don't know, I think they look cleaner than the ones with like the big old plastic wings. I'm a sucker for the ducktail R35s, but going down to the bottom, you can see 2009 Nissan GTR R35 used under license. Decent amount of detail, nothing crazy. But yeah, that's this one. Looks really nice. Um, I'm not even going to try to find a picture of this one because Liberty Walk stuff, unless it's like a very popular car that they've made, it's very hard to find pictures of stuff. But um, I'm sure we've we've looked at enough of these. I'm sure if this car does exist or it might not exist, but if it does exist, it's going to look pretty, it's going to look pretty good compared to the real car. But let's take a look at number 49 right quick. Get it cracked open. I've had this one for quite a while. I just got that another number 30 recently from a buddy of mine, sold it to me for a good price. So I had to pick that one up. I've had this one for quite a while. I do really like this one a bit. So on the back right here, we've got Nissan licensing. There's uh, Mini GT's old socials. And then 
Right there, you got your UPC R35 Type 1 rear wing version 2 satin silver right hand drive. Very cool. Um, says Mini GT number 0049 Toys R Us. Huh, that's interesting. Oh, I know why it says that. So I'll put a picture up on screen. So Toys R Us used to do this thing with Mini GT and they would have just exclusive packaging, not the cars. So they would do like exclusive Toys R Us cars. We've obviously seen some of those, but they'd actually do exclusive packaging that uh, the blister pack, you know, like the, the card art was the same, the cars the same, the box is the same, but like it would have a little stamp on the top of like the uh, card and the blister and it would just say TRU exclusive but it the car itself is not exclusive so that's why it says that because this is not a Toys R Us model this one's just a mainline release so anyways here we go satin silver this time so we got the gold and the silver combo this one is whew, this one's nice you can see ducktail again very nice this one's so cool it's got a bit more detail than the gold one, which I think is why I might like it a little bit more. But starting off with the wheels, we've got uh, we've got some nice metallic um, red Forgiatos on this one. It's kind of in like a candy apple red, but honestly, depending on the light you look at them, sometimes they almost look pink. So I love the wheels on this. It looks really good. Um, on the side, we've got the um, we've got the catchphrase right there. Imagine all the people living life in peace. And we've also got the Liberty Walk like Rising Sun logo. You can see the red rays going up the door. It looks really nice. Forgiato logo right there. Air X. Right here, some more logos. Toyo HKS LB Performance. Liberty Walk right here on the back. And this is the same exact body kit as that satin one back there. This one, you know, it's got the same body kit around the wheels and stuff. So same little Liberty Walk thing right there. Mirrors are going to be rubber. But yeah, I, I appreciate the extra details on this one, like the, the catchphrase across the door and the rising sun. And I feel like there's more logos and stuff. I think it just makes it look, um, it doesn't make it look cluttered, but I think it just makes it feel a little bit more busy, which I think is why I like it. But going around to the front, again, acrylic headlights are going to be the same as the satin gold. Nice details underneath of them. Same intercooler, LB Performance right there. Uh, a little bit different logos on the front right here. You know, we've got LB Works, LB Performance, that R logo, same kind of front lip. And then we've also got, I think, I believe this is, uh, this is some sort of logo. I don't know if this is Japanese text or if this is just like some crazy font, but nice logo going up the side right there. And we've got Liberty LB Works right there. Same little air intakes on the hood. Big Toyo Tires banner on the front of the window and then LB Performance and LB Works R underneath. And this side pretty much the same as the other. No differences, just looks nice, nice and clean. Uh, we've got our feel filler back here. It does have the Liberty Walk flag on it. And then the rear window pretty much has the same logos as the other one did. You can see them all right there. Um, yeah, it looks really good. On the back, Toyo tires, nice and big in the center. Got the GTR badging with our acrylic taillights. This one looks a little messed up. Looks like some of the red paint got uh, scratched off in that one, but. Yep, these exhaust tips look like they're outlined in white, so that looks kind of nice. I think that's the first one I've paid attention to that I've seen that has white. But LB Performance right there with the flag. We've got Liberty Walk on this side with like some Japanese text. And then a little bit of a rear diffuser down here, some nice venting. And then on the bottom, same as the other one, 2009 R35 with the same base plate. So... Yep, looks pretty good. I don't know if I'll be able to find a picture of this one either, but I don't know. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll throw one up. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. That's These are the cars for today. Some nice satin gold and satin silver. I think it's a nice combo. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Help us hit a 1,000. We crawl and inch ourselves closer every day. And overall, that's the big goal. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.